Hello and welcome to TTC, Tim's Tech Corner. Today we're going to talk about updating the firmware on the Raj Gaming Charger Dock. Now, if you're wondering what this is, it, it's a really neat little device that Republic of Gamers, Raj has put out, and it's really designed to be used with the Raj Ally. That's where it's going to see the most use whether it be the Ally or the Ally Extreme, it's kind of what it's designed for. And if you go over to Best Buy, it is currently on sale for basically half price. Um, I happened to get word of a sale on it from Reddit, the Raj Ally Reddit, a few days ago and managed to pick it up. And uh, it was about 30 bucks. Here it is. Yeah, 29 bucks. Normally it's about 64. So you're saving a really, really good amount of money. Pick this thing up from Best Buy right now. Um, because as you're going to see from this video, it is for use with more than just the Raj Ally or the Raj, Raj Ally Extreme. We're just going to call it the Ally and the Ally Extreme at this point. Anyway. It is a 65 watt gaming charger dock. We're going to talk about its features in a moment, but I just wanted to show you the price. Get this thing. If you have any kind of a USB-C device that you like hooked up via HDMI to a monitor or TV, or you want just a really, really good charger and maybe use it for some extra accessories, which we'll talk about in a moment. You're going to want to get this thing for 30 bucks. It is an absolute steal. So the gaming charger dock, as you can see here, has a HDMI port. It has a USB A port and a USB C port. What you do with this thing is it basically acts like a dock similar to a dock for a laptop or a dock for the switch, the switch dock or any other handheld console, tablets, phones, etc. What you do is you plug it into the wall on the back end over here. Um, the manual makes a reference to the fact that it has other plug types, but mine didn't. It just had the standard American plug. It has HDMI, the USB-A, the USB-C. The USB-C goes into your device that you want charged and you want being the master of the dock your tablet, your phone, a Switch, an Ally, an Ally Extreme, a Legion Go, a Steam Deck, etc. And then the HDMI comes out of the dock and goes into your TV or monitor. And then the USB-A could go for a keyboard, a mouse, maybe a mouse keyboard combo, maybe a flash drive or something like that. Because even though it looks like a plug, it is actually basically a dock, a full on dock so you could hook whatever you want over there and it will translate that device into being hooked up to your switch your console your laptop etc there is something you want to do even though it's old at this point and it came out in october of last year when you buy one of these you're going to want to go ahead and come to this page the link will be in the description uh and you and actually, you know, I'll put a link up to uh, Best Buy sale on it, too. You're going to want to come here and you're going to want to download this uh, firmware. And in all honesty, you really kind of want to have an ally for this or at least a Windows device so that you can apply this particular firmware update. Once you've downloaded it, there will be a zip file. You're going to extract it to wherever you want on your PC or Windows device. It will go ahead and give you an SOP or basically an FAQ. Then there'll be the folder with a Windows desktop runtime and the one click firmware upgrade. When you go to run this, it'll say it needs a .NET component and it says it's going to download it. I don't think it actually did. 
the best thing that I would recommend doing is going to the Windows desktop runtime, run it. It will install the component that you need. Just do this first. Don't even try to go into the firmware upgrader. Do this first. It'll say it's successful. Then go into the firmware upgrader. You want to be plugged into the dock at this point. What it'll say over here is that the device is connected. It'll read the firmware of the dock. Because mind you, this isn't a plug. It is a dock in the shape and, uh, you know, the format of a dock. You know, it it's, looks like a plug, but it actually has the features of a dock. It, it is probably one of the most mini all-in-one docks out there that you could potentially imagine. So when you have your Ally connected or a laptop or anything that is Windows-based, you're going to go ahead and get to this screen. It will say the device is connected. You're going to say click to upgrade. It'll run through its things and it'll say complete at the end. Warning, when it gets to the end, essentially it reboots the dock. So if you are connected to something, if you have something connected to it at that particular point in time, like the Ally or another Windows device, it will actually kick you back to battery power for just a moment. And then it will fully reboot and it'll be like, oh, okay, you're on power now and it'll start charging. Because I actually did it from an Ally Extreme at the time that I ran the upgrade it went and said battery power, then it came back up and said you're on wall power, then it went to 30 watt turbo mode and everything. So you could like, you could tell it was cycling through its stuff. And then that's it. So at this point in time, what that enables you to do is it actually expands the capabilities of what else you can do with this dock, including a Nintendo Switch. Now, the way that I have it in my place right now is the uh, Switch is primarily my girlfriend's, but we, we share all the, the consoles and everything. And the primary dock is on our downstairs TV. Our media room TV is, is a little bit bigger, and she went out and got a secondary dock so that she could hook the Switch up there and play some things on a even bigger screen. Um... If I recall correctly, one of her Pokemon games she said was better in handheld mode. It was less laggy. But some of the other games she likes on the, the bigger screen and everything. Well, with this dock, I get to get that Switch dock out of there, which takes up space on the, you know, the media unit that the TV is on and everything. Just simply plug this in and run the HDMI cable and the USB-C cable by the TV where it's accessible and then be able to use that setup for any of the handheld consoles or a phone or a tablet. Because right now, the only thing that I could do with it is plug a switch in there. If I wanted to, I could take the HDMI out and plug it into something else or, or you know, convert it to USB-C. But that's a hassle. This will now allow me to not only do the switch, but I could throw an ally up there. I could throw my phone up there. I could throw... A Legion Go, I could throw the Steam Deck up there, uh, you know, and then get a wireless controller and, and sit back and on the biggest TV, run anything I want off of this thing. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. It's a very, very simple process to do as long as you are hooked up to the gaming charger dock at the time you run the upgrade. And obviously I would recommend it doing it from a Windows device. Uh, because you need to run those executables there and everything, it, you'll be good to go. And it actually upgrades the firmware to something that makes it highly more compatible. Now, if you get one of these today, tomorrow, next week, why is it not shipping with an already upgraded firmware similar to how a laptop or a PC would? I don't know. You'd have to ask uh, Asus about that. But this is a really handy device. It is cheap. And, uh, you know, it is about the it's it's way cheaper than a good GAN charger and everything like that. So for 30 bucks, you get something that is, you know, a really, really solid dock. What I haven't done yet is I have not tried to pass the power from this.
to a other dock, like a JSO dock or a JSOC um, dock, and then, you know, dock a Legion, dock a Steam Deck or an ally to that and, and see if it works. I haven't gone like dock to dock. Uh, but I am definitely going to try to take down the switch dock that's there, substitute this there, and then kind of be able to use that whole setup for more things than just a Nintendo Switch. So thanks for checking out the video. Again, cannot recommend this device enough. Even if you don't have an ally, if you've got another handheld console, whether it be Windows or Steam, or, you know, a phone or a tablet or even, you know, a good laptop that charges over USB-C and everything. Uh, possibilities are, are quite endless with this thing. Can't recommend it enough, even for use with the Nintendo Switch, if you don't want to have a full on dock hanging around. So thanks for checking out the video, everybody, and I will catch you later.